Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Guys, today I'm going to be talking about Yoimiya. Yoimiya is coming out very soon, less than a week actually, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. I know a lot of people talked about Yoimiya saying she's going to be one of the worst characters in the game in terms of a 5 star unit, that's a DPS. In my hand, I would like to disagree, as well as... I want to give a few points on why I myself am going to be summoning on Yoimi on my free to play account. I'm going for a character I actually like rather than meta or damage per second or whatever it is. Yoimi is another character in the game where they have been released, well not another but a character in the game that has been released in the most unfortunate timing as well as maybe the best. Uh, a lot of people say that Yoimi you know is being released just before anniversary or just before Ball comes out or just before Aloy comes out and it's kind of the worst time for her to be coming out because you know these characters might just be better to pull on. Aloy of course is free so you're going to have a free cryo you know bow user anyway she's probably gonna be some sort of dps or something like that all in all i myself am still going to be summoning on yoimiya because well my free to play account just has weird characters that nobody uses um i'm using tartaglia i'm using yoimiya that's gonna be coming out um of course i did pull on kazaha but i was expecting no one to want kazaha because they're like oh well Next patch, we're going to have two new characters, Yoimiya and Ayaka, so I'm gonna save, I'm gonna skip Kazaha. I'm pulling on Kazaha, he's gonna be great. And, well, he was. He's the best character to have on your account. He's really, really good. So I pulled on Kazaha and got Kazaha on my free-to-play account, and now I want the next character that no one wants. I want Yoimiya. Um, it's really unfortunate that nobody wants her. Now, I myself really want Yoimiya, especially for her voice actors. Just a really good character to have in my roster. She's a weird character to have, and I kind of want that to be a thing. It's kind of unusual because there's a lot of bow users on my team, like Tartaglia, as well as Official, and now we're going to have another bow character. Maybe Aloy is gonna be <laughs> I'll make a full bow team. <laughs> Um, it's a little bit weird. Yoimiya is amazing guys. I really truly do enjoy her whole demeanor, her character, and I cannot wait to start using her in the actual thing. It's a little unfortunate what Genshin did, but a lot of people do not understand something about the way they release the characters, the story quest in which you can play the character herself. You can play Yoimiya and she doesn't have a good bit at all. She doesn't even have a pyro cup, she's using noblesse, and if she, well, she does have a good bow to be honest. She has her thundering pulse in which the bow has crit damage and a normal attack is increased so it's a really good bow. So if I get this bow it'll be really good for Tartaglia and for Yoimiya but I'm not gonna pull on this banner I don't think so I mean it is what it is. Yoimiya I'm pulling on her for a few reasons. Not a lot of people are gonna be pulling on her and I kind of just want to try her out and so sort of show you guys that she can be fun. A lot of people say oh she's just a left click character like Eula, like uh, Tartaglia, like oh, I'm, I'm, see I'm seeing a trend actually. <laughs> a anything in this game can be seen as oh you just press one button the entire time and that's it. Uh, Kaza you just press E and then left click and then Q. It it's all one button. This game is supposed to be one button, two buttons, and that's pretty much it. It's not like, oh, you gotta press five buttons at one time and then press it. It's supposed to be simple. The way I assess a character is how they look, how they feel, and if they're enjoyable to play through any means, whether it is, you know, using a certain comp, using her herself, you know, soloing with her would be pretty cool for my personal content creation. I feel like it'll be really possible and be really fun to do. She's going to be great and I cannot wait to use her. She has her whole weird sub DPS thing going on with her ultimate that I think is really, really unique and I kind of want to try it out. Um, a lot of people you know are missing the whole point of all characters that are given in Genshin Impact you know as a character in the story quest or trial or whatever it is they won't have their set they're, they're going to have a noblesse set Yul had a noblesse set um Yoimiya had a noblesse set I think Ayaka had a noblesse set as well in her character story quest so every character in the game is going to have a noblesse quest no matter what character it is it's not going to be very suitable for what you wanted to do you can't quote unquote test the character out in the story quest. 
It's just not possible. And I feel like it's kind of unfortunate that it is what it is. I'm gonna show you guys that Yoimiya is actually going to be a fun character. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with her. And I cannot wait to summon on her banner and show you guys that she can be usable on whatever comp you want. Of course, I'm gonna try her out in the Tartaglia comp. I'm gonna have her own comp as well in Spiral Abyss. And we're just gonna try to take it on all at once. And I'm gonna be, you know fully maxing her out i'm gonna collect all the resources i need for her which i do not yet know what they are but i do know that you need the pyro the pyro cube i'm pretty sure you need the pyro cube stuff which i have gone and done and whatever it is but i do need some other stuff that i have no idea what they are but okay so this is the thing right i'm gonna be summoning on her banner on my free to play account but i'm gonna be skipping her on my main account my main account is supposed to have all the archons that's it that's what I want on my main account but on my free to play account I am going to be summoning on these characters that are very different and people don't really want these characters or they don't want to use these characters or they don't want to whatever it is I'm just gonna have fun on my free to play account and I feel like Yoimi is a really fun character and I cannot wait to summon on her banner let me know what you guys think about what I just said if you have anything to add let me know in the comment section down below it'd be very much appreciated guys thank you so much for the support i know i haven't been uploading much but please do consider liking the video so subscribing to the channel i know a lot of you guys have done that already and i really do appreciate it i also appreciate the support that you guys shown my jangling build video as well let me know if you guys want to see some more videos like that and of course i'm going to be releasing a yoimiya build that i currently have and i'm going to show you guys what kind of build that you might want to build on yoimiya herself once she comes out and it'll be really fun to do anyways guys that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys do enjoy i'm gonna leave you guys with a yoimiya character teaser right at the end here so you guys can see whatever it is that you want to see from the yoimiya character trailer and yeah see you guys in the next video very soon goodbye the best thing about summer on narukami island huh what makes you ask that Oh, <laughs> Toma put you up to this. Hmm, that's a tough one. Why don't you see what everyone else thinks? The best thing about summer on Narukami? Oh, good question. Let me think. I think we all know this one. So, did you find the answer yet? It isn't a thing at all. <laughs> <laughs> right, Summer just wouldn't be the same without her. <laughs> Who else could it be? <laughs> That's right! The best thing about Summer on Narukami Island... <laughs>